look at how different keys work. Key of C. All the white keys. First key we want to go to to take a look at is the key of G. It's a perfect fifth above C. That's three and a half steps. Alright, in order to have a major scale, you got to follow the pattern two holes and a half, three holes and a half. So, two holes and a half is starting from here. One hole, one hole, and a half. How convenient that half step happens to be right there. Then a hole, then a hole, and then a hole. And we have our first black key involved. There's the half step to the octave. The next key we want to look at is a perfect fifth above G. One, two, three, four, five. Three and a half steps. And we end at the key of D. Let's just drop it an octave. Starting here, we're going to go a whole step, a whole step, then a half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So now we've got two black keys in. What do you suppose happens with the key of A? Correct. There's one whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and again it's a half step below the tonic. Key of C sharp, seven sharps. C sharp, D sharp, E sharp. I know a lot of you are saying, wait a minute, that's an F. But the rule is a consecutive step, consecutive number, and a consecutive letter. C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. All right, here's an interesting concept. The primary chords. Let's go our key of C again. We could do this in another key, but C is just real easy to visualize in. Here's our one chord. One, three, four. Here's our four chord, one, three, five. Here's our five chord, one, three, five. One, three, five, four, six, one, five, seven, two. And we've used all the notes of the scale. Between those three chords, Second inversion four, and a second inversion five. We've used all the notes of the scale. That's why those three chords, the ones written on one, four, and five, are referred to as the three principal chords. We can do this in the key of G just as easily. There's the one chord. There's the four chord. There's the five chord. You gotta reach for that. are the secondary chords. The 2, 3, second inversion 6, and the second inversion 7. And another look at our triads. Major interval with the minor interval on top. Minor interval on the bottom, major interval on top. So in other words, this chord could be called a major minor, and this chord could be called a minor major. All the chords, all the diatonic chords, have got similar makeup, except for the 7 chord, which has got a minor and a minor, and is simply referred to in total as a diminished chord. And that has to do with the interval from B to F. A matter of being a whole step, a whole step, and a whole step. Three whole steps all together. Perfect fifth made smaller by half step is a diminished fifth. Here's our C scale, seventh position. You can also play that scale, the same exact notes, down here on the third fret if you start on the fifth string. adjustment there for the second string on the keyboard when we went to the G scale 
we had to incorporate a black key, so we had to change our fingering a little bit in the key of G on the guitar. Here it is in the key of D. Sliding up and down the neck, you've got exactly the same fingering for all the keys. Here's our major interval, one and three, one and flat three, perfect fifth. Here's a diminished fifth, perfect fourth. Basic A pentatonic scale. <laughs> <laughs> 